Hello and welcome to Panotopia.com. My name is Jan Lingen and again we are talking about my official self-release. More specifically in this clip I am talking to you about how to relieve muscle tension or how to treat trigger points in the levator scapular muscle using the trigger fairy. We will massage exactly um, two areas in this muscle, namely first of all the area of its origin which is uh, the angular superior little bony landmark that I will show you in just a minute how to feel it. And then we move up with our massage tool in the area to the cervical spine where the muscle inserts. Both of these areas are quite important to massage because the area at the angular superior is very often um, responsible for a very tight feeling shoulder and tension in the shoulder and the muscle fibers of the levator at the cervical spine are very often involved in a stiff neck and um, it's quite important to treat those fibers if you have or if you suffer from um, this condition. Okay, let's start with the area of the angular superior. Um, so that you place the massage tool in the correct area, of course you have to feel it. You can do this by taking one or two fingers of the opposite hand, um, placing above your shoulder and then gently pressing into the soft tissue that you will encounter here. And then you just draw small circles with your shoulder and by drawing those circles you will move your scapula and thus also um, the angular superior, which is the bony little peak of the scapula. And once you've found this spot, you um, know where to place the trigger fairy. And uh, I would recommend um, doing it with the opposite hand. Um, you just take the trigger fairy and place the thumb at top of um, its handle and then place the trigger fairy here on the angular superior. And then you exert pressure by pulling the ferry downward and forward. And then you start moving your shoulder again. And by doing so, you are practicing the press and move technique, which means that the muscle, in this case the levator scapula, is contracting, it's working and you're massaging it this way. So what you want to do now is you want to um, experiment with the position of the trigger fairy and find the most unpleasant and most tender points and work them with um, slow movements of the shoulder. It's easy as that. Just have to practice a little bit and you will achieve good results with it. Um, I'm, I'm quite sure. Um, now we will move up to the neck and before we start massaging here I want to uh, give you one important tip and that is to start out your massage very conservatively in this area because in the area of your neck um, all the muscles um, contain a lot of receptors which are responsible for your spatial orientation and if you overdo it here with the massage you irritate those receptors and you will end up having a um, nausea or dizziness for a couple of days which of course you want to avoid at least i would like to avoid it um, don't be frightened it won't happen to you if you um, start out slow and if you um, don't overdo it take some rest um, after um, only a short massage like one minute maybe or so don't press too much into the muscles and what is the most important uh, just watch your body how it reacts to the massage over the next next couple of hours or even the next day and only then adjust the pressure and duration of the massage and you will be fine okay um, so um, in order to massage the area of the neck we place the um, trigger fairy in front of our body hold its handle with both our hands gently we are not grabbing it hard and um, now we press um, from the side towards the cervical spine, not too much of course, because um, we do, it, the muscles here are quite small. We do not need a lot of pressure. And now I can use the precise massage strokes and just slide over the muscles, amongst others there's the levator scapula located, and um, search for tender points and as soon as I find one I only slide over this particular point and this way I'm going to inspect the whole area of my cervical spine which is from up here till down here approximately. Um, precise massage strokes. What also works out 
very well is using the press and move technique in this area. And of course you inspect exactly the same area, you press into the muscles from the side, but instead of sliding over the muscles with the trigger fairy, you are going to move your head to make the muscle move, to make it contracting. It would look like this, or it looks like this. You press into the muscle and then you make the muscle move by bending your head laterally, you're bending it to the side, moving a little bit down, searching for tender points, searching for painful ranges of motion without maximizing the pain. That is very important, as I said. And um, you can also use uh, rotations of your neck. You know, you say, no, I don't want a stiff neck. I want to relieve my neck. This is why I'm going to massage myself. Um, you can also combine these movements and uh, the most important thing is to be very aware um, um, during your massage and to take your time and to practice in a gentle manner. Okay, I hope this video helped you. Um, if so, please leave thumbs up for this video, comment if you like. Uh, visit my website for further information, painotopia.com and also check out one of my other videos here on my channel. I hope I see you then. Bye-bye.